Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Mark Mady with the National Weather Service in San Diego with the weather briefing for the week of September 13th. Here are the weather highlights coming up. It's going to be a warm week. We're going to have some low afternoon humidities, however. Uh, this is compared to last week where it was fairly warm and humid. That air mass has moved off to the east and we're going to be in dry northwest flow. Santa Ana season is right around the corner. And we'll close with an autumn temperature and precipitation outlook. Here are the high temperatures on Tuesday. It's still going to be quite warm. Temperatures approaching 110 in the lower deserts and in the mid to upper 90s in the Inland Empire. But as we trend toward Wednesday, we see a slow downward tick in some of the temperatures. Around 105 in the lower deserts, the low 90s in the Inland Empire, in the upper 70s at the coast, and one more day further into Thursday, it trends down even a little bit lower. Now we've seen a noticeable decrease in humidities early this week and that trend is going to be continuing. Here's tomorrow's relative humidity, very low single digit humidities in some of the inland empire, in, in some of the inland valleys, some of the mountains and some of the lower deserts. Now as we go into Thursday, only small changes take place, still very dry, not quite as dry as Thursday, but still very dry. And then we look into Saturday, again, those same trends continue. Now, this is not too dissimilar to what we could see during a Santa Ana season, as we are now nearing Santa Ana season. And the, some of you may be wondering, what is the weather pattern looking like when we get into a Santa Ana pattern? Well, we get into September, October, and even November. Predominant pattern can be a surface high pressure over the Great Basin and a low pressure system off the coast. This pressure difference can create a strong gradient of wind from the northeast over the Great Basin over to the southwest here in Southern California and that's what's the cause of our Santa Ana and our strong northeast winds. Pressure is trying to equalize high to low pressure. So at the surface we have this pattern taking place. With the temperature field the air mass over the Great Basin is typically quite colder, quite a bit cooler than it is near the coast and as the High pressure forces the air down toward the coast. It goes from higher elevations in the mountains toward the coast, and as it sinks, it warms. And that's why a lot of times we see quite a gradient in temperatures from the mountains all the way down to the coast as this sinking air on northeast winds warms as it goes toward the coast. In fact, coastal highs are typically warmer than some inland highs and even highs in the lower deserts. So with Santa Ana season here, or in the near future, fire season is coming and now is the time to prepare. Prepare to make sure and, and that you have defensible space around your home and protect your home from any fire hazards that may come your way. We'll close with the temperature outlook here for the autumn months, September, October, November. Now the probabilities are much higher than average for us to have a warmer than average fall season. The areas in dark red, shaded orange are probabilities of a warmer than average season. And the precipitation outlook does not favor us either for getting any precipitation. The chances in the southwestern part of the nation are a little bit lower than average for getting, into, to, for getting us to have near normal precipitation. Perhaps average chances for northern California, Oregon, and higher than average chances for the far northwest part of Washington. So in closing, We'll have a warm and dry pattern this week with low humidities in the valleys, mountains, and deserts. We have an elevated fire threat and fire season is here. Take the necessary precautions. For the National Weather Service in San Diego, I'm meteorologist Mark Mady.